Welcome to episode 2 of this mini-series where my childhood friend is visiting South Korea for a few days and I try to show him around. Good morning, we are at the random rest stop. We have decided to go to Busan today. Like, it's not the city that's very close to Seoul, but I think we can do a lot of things there, though I have zero plans on what we are going to do there yet. Uh, we just had breakfast and while I drive, I'm going to think of what we can do there. But this is the start of the day. Let's go with the flow. Let's go with the flow. Right, but now that we are heading towards Busan, I start to realize that outside of Seoul and maybe Daejeon, I don't really know a lot of places. So once I leave those two cities, I'm just the same as every other tourist. So as much as I don't like the feeling of like not knowing the area where, I'm, where I go to, just because I'm really not used to it, thanks to Seoul, um, I think it's still going to be like a good chance to explore new stuff and even if it's just going to be touristy things um, a lot of them I haven't shown on this channel so yeah I'll, I'll bring you along all right so finally we made it to Busan and we're working towards Kukje Shijan actually but we have come across this Yashijan which is a night market. We haven't discovered this yet, but as we walked in, there is a lot of vegetables and meat and fruits and maybe like a few other stuff. So we're gonna walk around this market and see what's here. Like, I don't think I know anybody here at all, which is a little bit sad to be very honest, but uh, it's not gonna stop us from seeing and trying new stuff. And as we're walking around, I actually came across this small stall with hot dog like Korean pancakes and then we are trying one which is one egg pancake and one is cool pancake which is like honey pancake. I'll be trying the one with egg for the first time but this is amazing stuff and I really want to show this to you guys. So let's try with the one with egg first. Uh, Jang. Jang. <laughs> and there is honey inside as well so it's actually like a sweet pancake with egg. Very interesting and this is going to be the standard honey pancake. Really as soon as I saw this I knew it was a must to try this, I don't know. Like I've already had it so many times and it never disappoints. And since I don't really know much about the city and I still am a tourist here, even though I've been here a couple of times, I'm going to utilize the power of social media. I'm gonna make a story on my Instagram and ask if anybody that follows me can give any recommendations of like less popular, less touristy things that maybe like locals know mainly that I can visit. Would be amazing. Right, and over here is the market where we originally were gonna go, which is Kukjesijan. All right, let's check it out, see what's here and how it's different from the one that we visited before. Yashijan looked like it was mainly about food with like a few other items but here the way it starts is mainly about uh, household items electronics uh, what else do i see here kitchenware light bulbs stuff like this all right today is a national holiday here in korea and uh, we are here kind of in the evening after 6 p.m so quite a lot of shops seem to be closed. I think like six out of 10 would be closed. So yeah, let's continue exploring now. So here we are passing by one of the famous supposedly shopping streets here in Busan. We are mainly passing by this street because I thought we we're gonna have a little bit more time to explore, but we are looking for one particular dish that I wanted to show to Igor. And it seems like we are somewhere nearby. But a part of me is not really used to being in the area, so like showing the areas which I don't know anything about. But another part of me is happy to explore it as well. I don't know, like I've been to Busan many times. I haven't been to any of the markets which just passed by and I haven't been to this street. Very interesting. And I've been in Korea for a while, by the way. So you do get this dish and then one of the first steps would be to like get a little bit of uh, vegetables with chicken and cheese in your plate because the pan here is gonna stay pretty hot for a while so this is how we do it 
and then once we finish, probably like one or two plates like this, it's gonna get a little bit cooler so we can start eating directly from uh, the pan. So we did opt for like a middle, like average level of spiciness, or even for me, <laughs> I'm used to having spicy food. This is a little bit more spicy than I expected, actually. The point of, of this dish is like to try the combination of this sourness coming from the sauces and gochujang mixed together with cheese and vegetables and chicken. You can a lot of Korean dishes. The point is to build a combination of uh, the ingredients, like main dish like chicken with other side dishes, like yesterday mandu. Yeah, when you combine bandu with, um, with kimchi, it created the, 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 the sourness and spiciness that is added to like a very, from the get-go, very plain uh, soup itself. And when you put soy sauce on top of the mandu, this is, again, the complexity of combinations that you can build is probably the main point of a lot of the dishes here in South Korea. All right, and this is how much we're gonna leave for the second round of food here for Bokimbap. Here we can just mix it and then put it on our plates. This is a second, a little bit different dish that we are having. But this is going to be our dessert slash wrap up of today's dinner. All right, you know what's weird is that it's Thursday and tomorrow is a work day. And I'm here in Busan and it's something I could not have imagined doing even like half a year ago. I'm really, really grateful to be able to do this, I guess. Yeah, I think life is just so much better when I don't have to go to the office. Of course, there's like a money aspect of it on the other side, but the freedom of managing your own time is something that, I don't know, it's very difficult to put the price on. But yeah, life definitely feels different. And yeah, Busan is very, very beautiful. I haven't explored it much yet, but like I did know this before and I just like confirmed this now. I would really love to live in Busan at some point, even if it's for a month, just to properly like get the feel of the city, learn a little bit more about like different areas and I don't know, just the things to do. Like it's very easy to get impressed by the city as a tourist, but I think it's more difficult to actually learn about like nice places, walk around, uh, I don't know, just figure out transportation, some my chips, it's just, yeah, it's just gonna be different, I don't know. I hope I'll get the chance to do that. Would be really nice if I can share this with you as well. Uh, a moment of gratitude to be able to be here on a Thursday night.